Hi Cancer, welcome to your bonus reading. Um, you are the last one, but I always think the last one is the best one. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, some of you are intuitively guided. Um, thank you for tr uh, trusting your intuition. Whatever brought you, welcome. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to use our Mother Mary Oracle deck. We're going to use the Crystal Vision for our clarifiers and we will use the good tarot for your main spread okay but let's go ahead and start with mother mary give her a couple spe uh, a couple shuffles everything's pre-shuffled by the way um i just want to remind everyone of the membership program i began um there's been some confusion so i'm just using this month to kind of straighten it out uh first of all if you don't want to be a member, you certainly don't have to be. It doesn't take anything away from the channel. Um, it's just beyond, right? It's extra work. Um, so it doesn't take anything away from you. This is for people who prefer a more intimate setting um, where you have like, you know, some videos done just for that group. And then tier three is where we go live and um, much more intimate setting so we can go a lot deeper that's really why i started it but i'm not going to take anything away from you guys at the same time okay um i just really felt like it was time to do it i'm also teaching tarot which i've had a lot of people ask me so i've done three different tiers completely up to you um tier one is just a thank you make sure you know which tier you're buying um I'm saying buying but you know what I mean uh, because if you're interested in the live um, readings then you want to do tier three if you're interested in uh, videos you know just for memberships then you're interested in tier two and all of them well tier two and tier three include um, learning to wrap okay so I just wanted to clear that up Let's give them a cut and let's begin Wow okay well I think I'm gonna give him another shuffle I feel like that was my fault there we go you know when you do this long enough you can tell like what was my fault and what was meant to come out all right, caring. This is like the third time we've received this this month uh, for the bonuses, not even for the monthlies. Don't forget, you also have your monthly for August. I'll link it at the end of the video for you. Um, and then some special videos that I think that um, you'll relate to. So caring. Heaven cares for me, and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. Okay. Let's bring the lid down and let's get into the tarot portion. Again, we're going to use the good tarot. Already pre shuffled. Let's give them a cut. And I am going to let your story just unfold with the, tr with the uh, good tarot. And then we're going to shuffle with the the crystal vision so let's begin I feel like I brought this down a little too far let's begin well hello lovers very first card um, it is a card of Gemini it can mean a head over heart decision of course but listen it's the lovers and you know we're in the year of the lovers so interesting very first card universal year six we have the messenger of fire this is the knight of wands um this is normally bringing something towards you a knight is bringing something into your life whether it be physical or an energy um this is more like energy this is uh something that I think it's going to stir your soul. I don't know how it can't. Um, it can be fast moving energy at the same time. This talks about desire and action. 
um, and passion. So let's see. Well, look at this. We have the Ace of Cups. You know, I know a lot of people like me to shuffle the cards, but I have to tell you, sometimes I just feel like your story's meant to unfold. Um, Cancer, this sounds like a love story. Ace of Cups, unconditional love, interesting. And let's take one more up top. All right, well. Why, oh, why did the Seven of Swords have to come out? So, you know, let's talk about the Seven of Swords for a second because it is mirroring the lovers and that could signify um, some trust issues as it relates to love. Uh, chances are due to past type energy. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like this is saying that love is coming towards you that's going to be dishonest. I don't feel that. Because um, I kind of feel like you already would have learned. Okay, well, let's keep going. We have the Three of Pentacles. I'm going to try to move a little faster. We have, look at this, the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. We have the Five of Wands coming under that Ace. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. And let's just go and see what's at the bottom of the deck so we can read it. We have the Four of Cups. Okay. Four of Cups can talk about inactivity, right? I'm not being proactive in chasing what I feel like is my dream. This definitely feels like it's talking about love. I can't help but feel that way. Um, you know, the Four of Cups tells me that you still have this dream, that you still want this cup. Here it is, by the way. Um, maybe you're helping to manifest it. And I feel like the Seven of Swords is, again, older energy because under it now is Nine of Cups. Um, so I feel like this could certainly signify, signify an old love um, who, you know, just wasn't trustworthy, who um, caused doubt for you as it relates to all love. But I kind of think I got to let that go. And here's why I'm saying that. When I look at the first card, which again is the lovers, and I look at the last card right now, which is the Nine of Cups, this is giving me an idea of the energy for me to receive, let's say, because it's not just about giving love, it's also being able to receive it completely. If the Seven of Swords is still like part of the energy I'm carrying around, then chances are... I may automatically not trust the next person also. Now, again, there can be a reason, right? Um, well, I'm saying that, but I'm in the same breath, I feel like because we have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups, it really does take you to the Ten of Cups. Messenger or the Knight of Pentacles, um, you know, this is a slow-moving knight, but it's a knight that moves with purpose comes in at the right time. Um, it's something that's coming into the physical plane. So when I tell you like sometimes energy and sometimes something physical, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is bringing us something physical, uh, something that's gonna help us expand our world. And then with the Messenger of Wands or the Knight of Wands right above that, um, what was once slow moving seems to be fast moving now. Slow moving, but then we put some speed on it. We have the Three of Pentacles coming under the lover. So I think we should talk about that. The Three of Pentacles, and this is coming up in almost everybody's reading. Um, so I feel like this is really calling for a time for us to allow ourselves to be who we, who we are, who we uniquely are, right? Uh, not what other people make us out to be. Uh, trusting, you know, yourself, trusting your gift. This is a great energy of collaboration. Some of you may be finding yourself collaborating with someone and then, hmm, maybe you fall in love. Maybe. All 
All right, I feel like I want to bring the crystal vision in right away because we have so much love on the table. These are also pre-shuffled, by the way. Let's give them a cut. Some of you may work with someone that you may not even know um, kind of like has a crush on you or at least an appreciation of you. You may not even know that. All right. Take us deeper. Let us know more. We're going to start at the lovers. It says love. We have the Page of Swords, but it kind of like flipped itself around. Um, you know, it feels like communication, but almost like I'm, I don't want that communication. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Coming over these two nights. First of all, it would make complete sense that this Knight of Pentacles would be in the same row of the ten of pentacles you know i have singular energy here and now i have what i would call coupled energy and it's coming on the wings of these knights maybe i don't want to hear it maybe i don't want to take someone's call um i don't know if this is someone you know i kind of feel like it's someone you don't but i do feel the effect of previous energy okay all came fit we got a lot but they all came face up we have hello king of pentacles this king has been very strong in um at least the last three or four readings he's coming right over the ace we have the Knight of Swords coming over the Seven of Swords. We have the High Priestess. I'm going to try to move it a little quicker. We have the Eight of Pentacles. I have to say, I feel like some of you, it's like, well, let's get the rest out. The King of Swords coming over that Five. The Hangman. And then the Devil. Card of Capricorn. Okay, let's look at this. There's a lot. So, I feel like, first of all, you know, let's speak of the love first, right? This person's kind of like just relaxing, right? I don't know if I really want communication. I don't know. It's like I'm shutting it off. First of all, I do feel like there could be a chance that someone... Um, may communicate that um, at one time may have created the seven of swords now is that about taking this person back i i kind of don't feel that because i feel this this king is someone new especially being tied to the ten of pentacles so i feel like listen you could have two calls coming in and i feel like one of the calls you know i hate to keep putting down the king of swords but he's the one in for these bonuses to seem to be um, carrying some, you know, maybe some untrustworthy energy. Uh, maybe it's within their communication. It's coming over the Five of Swords, which tells me there's a lot of ego involved. Um, and through that ego is how I communicate. Seems very harsh. No? Seems kind of harsh. So I feel like, and, and listen, I'm not saying it has to be an air sign. What I'm saying is I feel like there is someone that at one time you were attached to that you may hear from. That person, I don't feel like there's change. Um, and I'm saying that because first of all, the hangman is here and then the devil comes out with that. Now it's coming over the nine of cups. So I kind of feel like I find you, you know, um, pretty happy. Anyways, what comes below that though? The High Priestess. 
So this is not about, listen, you know, I really feel it's about a fear factor. I feel like it's about using your own knowledge, using your own inspiration um, or your intuition is what I meant to say. Because I kind of feel like two people contacting you. One may be of the past, but I feel like um, I feel like this person could be someone again who had a lot of ego, um, not very good communication, probably, um, I don't know, like a sharp tongue. And then we have this Eight of Pentacles coming over the Knight of Pentacles. So this is why, in a way, I kind of feel like there's someone, um, let's just say in your financial or your creative house, who has an appreciation for you and what it is you bring to the table. There's no doubt for that in me, um, especially with this Knight right next to it. Eight of Pentacles is saying, listen, maybe this King of Pentacles is coming in and making some type of offer. Um, or you already work with them, but I, but let's, the, oh, excuse me one second. Okay, sorry, interrupted for a second. Um, I now... You know, I kind of forgot where we're at, but maybe that's a good thing. I think we're at the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles talks about, you know, the willingness, um, like, can I grow something to success if I'm willing to put the focus in it, on it? That's what the Eight of Pentacles says. Be willing to go into things. Like, I don't need to know everything before I begin something. I can learn as I go. Uh, grow as I learn. So the Eight of Pentacles um, is a very, hmm, you know, you're thinking about you and you're thinking about your pentacles. You're putting your head down. I see that in the Three of Pentacles too. It's like busy with my own craft, with my own finances or my own career, that type of thing. Nonetheless, I do feel like there's someone, um, whether close up or far away, seems to have... Um, I got my eye on you. Okay. I want to go a little deeper here. And I'm going to look at this Seven of Swords with this Knight of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. Um, can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. You know, it kind of feels to me like not only did you have some, let's just say, distrust, uh, dis distrust in maybe a love, but also I feel like um, in a career. I feel like um, it's almost like this king, and I'm sorry to keep pointing him out, but I do feel like it, it's almost like this king and this king's words may have for some time played a part in your own um, either inactivity towards what it is you want to create, because the nine of pentacles here, and so is the nine of cups. Now, it's over some difficult energy, um, but I feel like this is the energy that can go away. First of all, I feel like if there's someone's coming in who, again, I would say is very like egotistical, um, sharp tongue, uh, not believing in you or telling you that, you know, your dreams can't be. Uh, that's coming from their own limited belief because I feel quite the opposite. And then I feel this King of Pentacles, it doesn't have to be Earth, but this is someone who would, you know, I can look at the big picture and tell you what's going on. King of Pentacles, normally, I know some people are going to be like, well, that's not true, Sandy. Well, every sign, you know, it depends on what they carry. But the King of Pentacles is normally someone who's very loyal and um, has to have that back, no doubt. 
Um, King of Pentacles can be someone who, listen, I may not speak my emotions so great, but I show them. I show them. He's coming right over this ace, and the Ten of Pentacles is connected right to him. So, I feel like Well, we have the sun and we have the fool. So I wanted to look at this king a little deeper. Well, this king of pentacles brings out the sun. So first of all, because we have the seven of swords so close to him, though I still don't feel like it's, I don't feel it's him or her, um, especially now with the sun out, because the sun, when the sun comes out and it's coming out over this king, it's saying that all will be revealed. There's nothing to hide, right? There are no shadows. Um, more or less, I feel like this is someone I can trust. And then I have the fool. So I do feel like I'm taking a um, leap of faith here. And um, listen, if nothing else, I may just be giving it a try. I may just walk into it to see. But I feel like the sun, it's almost like you f it, it makes you feel like a kid again. You know, and love can do that, right? Even if we've been through the most difficult love, doesn't mean that, you know, someone else can't come in and make, you know, our life joyful. I feel like there has been some inactivity towards um, really how you want to see your world. And it's like your guides are like, well, we're going to help you. But it feels very important to take the fool's energy. The fool's free and clear of the past, right? Doesn't mean I've, I've forgotten. It just means I'm wiser, right? The fool just carries the tools of previous past that the fool's been on. But this is starting something brand new. I love it with the sun because that's also like a brand new day, right? Brand new energy. The sun is, you know, you feel childlike. It allows your inner child to sing. Interesting because I feel polar opposites between this king and this king. And again, don't get lost in the signs. I want you to think about the energy. This king, I feel like, it, again, very egotistical, very sharp with their tongue. Probably, I feel like in some way, um, spoke that whatever dream you may have had or however you wanted to see love whatever it is how you wanted to see your life i feel like you know it's almost like well you can't have that you can't do that that won't happen for you you know but that's just not the truth so this king of uh, pentacles seems to be bringing in completely different type of energy Okay, I think what I want to do is I'm going to pick all these up. Um, because this seems to be going... First of all, I want to remind you, not only do you have the Nine of Pentacles, this is successful self-employment, right? But you got to want it. you got to put the work in it. Um, but I often feel like if I'm doing that, I'm receiving like epiphanies to help me. This, this is success, right? And then... There it is. This is independent, right? This is me learning independence. This is me being independent within my financial house. And now, maybe plural. Nine of Cups, independent. And I'm okay that way. You know what I mean? Like, this is someone who's like, I'm fine that way. Right? Maybe I've been in that energy and I've been building up my career. And, um, you know, I just feel it's interesting because I feel like there's two coming in. And one is, like, you know, one is good and I feel like one hasn't changed. So let's leave it at that. But let's, I'm not done with you yet. Okay? We are not done. Um,. What I want to do is I just want to do, I want to look for some synchronicities here. So I am going to pull all these up. Okay, well look at that. It's like the love card did not want to get pulled up. So we'll leave you out. 
and what do I want to use? Let's use the crystal light. Or I mean, let's use the um, light sears. And all I'm going to do is, I'm, again, I'm looking for synchronicities. I'm looking for deeper meaning. Whatever our guides want us to hear. And I'm keeping the lovers out. We have the Seven of Swords shut up right away. We have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is taking us to the past. It's showing us, first of all, the Seven of Pentacles is looking, the person in the Seven, I'm sorry, the Seven of Swords is looking over at the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is learning the fine art of give and receive. Um, but I feel like the Seven of Pentacles, or why do I keep saying that? The Seven of Swords does feel like he's kind of, he's taking someone's generosity for granted. He feels like he's taking someone's generosity for granted. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So that's the second time we had the nine. Again, it's about successful self-employment. Um, listen, this could be, I've had this in another reading where um, it felt like, you know, someone taking from you, like taking from your tree of pentacles. Um, but, or you're giving, you know, maybe I'm giving, but it's not changing them or helping them. Um... I almost feel like they just expect it. All right, with the Three of Pentacles again. Now this is a completely new deck, guys. So I want to I want to remind you that. So first of all, I love these two cards together for you because this talks about what you do for a living, whether it be a craft. You know, I consider like tarot a craft, right? But it's also my business, um, and it's you know it's what I do. It's my individual style, and I feel like that's what the Three of Pentacles is. It's your individual style. Um, it's putting your head down and getting to work, but knowing that at the end, you know, I feel like the person who emerges from the Nine of Pentacles is really like the master teacher. So even though the Seven of Swords seems to like want to like take from that, I don't think it's going to continue. All right, we have the Page of Wands, came in reverse. No action, no movement. We have the Chariot, came in reverse. I can tell you right now, there is someone who is unbalanced, who is, um, or there was. Listen, I feel like there was someone, or there is someone in your life who takes more than they need, um, maybe takes even without you knowing. Um, do I think now, you know, it could be a child because you do have the page here. Um, but I feel like this is someone that, I feel like this is someone you really know. You may not be with them anymore. This may be what had happened. Um, but the chariot in reverse makes me wonder, that is your card, first of all. It's like, it's almost like I gave someone money to buy a car and they never bought the car. They used it for something else. But if that's the case, it wouldn't have been the first time. Interesting how we had the two sevens. And this seven makes this seven in reverse. You know, the chariot is belief in yourself belief in your dreams and that there you know it's the belief in there's no limit and how far you can take something 
A chariot usually comes in reward once we found that balance. Usually, um, you know, when I think of the chariot, I think the chariot is really controlled um, by our minds, by our intention. But when it's in reverse, it's kind of like everything's on stop. And then this page, which normally I read this page of wands, is like a, the fool's type of energy, um, which means movement action right but it doesn't seem so listen i feel like if there's a seven of swords in your life um and you keep giving i don't feel like they're going anywhere i feel like it would have to be you to cut this tie can even be like, um, you know, the thoughts that they left in my head. And because of those thoughts they left in my head, it, you know, it took me a while or I'm just now learning to put that trust back into myself. Well, there you go. Strength card. First of all, we had Leo show up twice. Leo and Cancer side by side and they are neighbors. Strength card is overcoming. You know, it's overcoming the beast within ourselves. You know, and I use the word beast, but it's just like, you know, it's 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 overcoming those illusions that seem to hold us down. And it's allowing ourselves to have a new beginning. I feel like someone really messed with your mind and maybe even messed with your money, messed with your heart. I don't feel like this is meant to continue, though. Um, I feel like probably a lot of you have already moved on from that. And I think what it might be saying is I moved on from it, but I might still be carrying that, that self-doubt. I think once you are with someone like that, someone else like that comes towards you, you will feel it. And don't forget, you had the High Priestess in the last reading that's about trusting your intuition. And then look at this. The Ten of Cups. Cancer. I feel, I mean, first we had the Ten of Pentacles. Now we have the Ten of Cups. By the way, if you're working out of the home, it seems like um, either it is bringing you joy or, or it has an opportunity to really bring you joy. Doesn't mean it doesn't, there's no work. All right, I'm not going to leave yet because I want to follow. Wow. There's that King of Swords again. Now he's directly in line with that Seven of Swords. Can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't matter though. This is, again, this king. I just get this feeling. We have the five of cups. Look at this. And then we have the page of pentacles in reverse. I want to get the last card out. Before we talk about this. Okay, that's a lot of cards. That's a lot of gone. What's that cheese? I'm going to take these. We have the Ace of Cups coming under that Ten of Cups. I'm going to take these on the side. We have the Ace of Swords. We have, look at this, the Ace of Pentacles. Hello. We have the Hangman. It's like here are these blessings, right? But then the Hangman, the Devil. And then the King of Cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Devil is a Capricorn. The Hangman. Interesting how, first of all, these two aces coming in, right? Aces are always coming in. It's an opportunity. Doesn't mean I'm going to take it. Doesn't mean, you know what I mean? Um, I may just let it slip right by. And if I do, I feel like, you know... If I let it slip by, it's because 
there is an influence over me um, or a false belief within me that maybe I'm not worthy of it. Maybe I'll just destroy it. But you won't if you really look at this. Now, let's go back here. So, let's look at this line. First of all, the Seven of Swords that puts the Page of Wands normally ready to go. Action, no action. Connected directly to this King, as in our last reading. Taking. It's interesting because then you go to the next. Like, what is the Seven of Swords doing? He's taking. He's taking um, from your generosity. He's also... He, I'm saying he, it can be an energy of the past or a physical person. Um, it's like holding your dreams back. You know, and it's interesting too because I feel like sometimes when I'm lonely, even those who have hurt me, um, if I don't put that emotion in check, you know, because the page... Uh, pentacles in reverse makes me feel like you know did I learn something did I learn because this is about learning right I know that you can overcome it you know many of these readings have been like split in half like there's this half and then there's this half this half not so great this half quite good Five of Cups says, you know, there may be times when you find yourself lonely. Um, Five of Cups is about focusing on what I have lost. Even, even if it was good that you lost it, sometimes we don't know that for a while. Um, but the Five of Cups really is about this person's focus, right? I'm focusing on that. And therefore, I don't, I'm, I don't feel or believe that there's two cups that have yet to find me. Well, I think that's that King of Pentacles, to be honest. And I do feel he'll find you. He or she. Um, but how would they find you? That's the question. This is energy that it will not serve me moving forward. I need to understand it. I need to see that sometimes, you know, people take advantage of my generosity. Sometimes people tell me that I won't be successful or I can't be this, I can't be that. That's bullshit. That's their belief. That It's not even their belief. It's usually coming from their own self-belief, um, their own self-doubt, right? like I don't want to see you do well if I'm not doing well I know someone it's almost like you know like I'm I'm with this king and I probably spent a lot of time with this king this it just feels like someone to me who like had jobs lost jobs um I can't really depend on I feel like they depended on you more than anything um but nonetheless I feel like listen I can't tell you not to take it back, not to take them back, not to accept that type of energy, because this is what you have to figure out. The strength card tells me that you can. And by the way, I feel like if anybody's telling you you cannot be successful, they're wrong. Because you have everything here that says that you can. And the more that you trust your own uniqueness, your own knowledge. Listen, you don't have to have a, a degree, this may say. But Sandy, I don't even have a degree. Well, you don't need a degree to create your own business. You've, it, you know, it's already innately in you. It's just bringing it to the surface. Listen, the Ace of Pentacles is certainly going to help. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. We have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Um, but really what I saw first was the Queen of Cups. They could be together. Aries. Uh, Queen of Cups would be a uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, she feels like she's connected, right? She's connected like... She's connecting to above, as above, so below. Trusting. Can I have my heaven on earth? You can create it. 
that's what this is all about, right? This is you creating success. This is you trusting in yourself and then putting in the action. This is you landing in the Ten of Cups with, hello, the Ace of Cups below it. I don't feel like this person is in this life. Emperor could also represent your own business as the Nine of Pentacles does. Being the boss, the leader, the one that people look up to. You may have learned so much. Uh, listen, I feel like there is a lot to learn from this type of energy. It's almost like the narcissist, right? And I can't really change that narcissist, but I can leave that narcissist. I can change my life. Okay. Because you are the last reading, we're going to give you even more time. And what I want to do is I'm just going to give the Crystal Vision a shuffle. A couple shuffles, actually. And then I'm just going to come back and look at a couple cards. And I'm really just looking over the whole spread. We have that five of wands. Makes sense. We have the queen of wands. You know, the one thing I want to say here is that this is still current energy. You know, be careful. Or even you know, if this is something that's happening in your, um, where you work. Like, be careful you don't allow yourself to get pulled into the drama because the five of wands that's what's happening i get pulled into the drama five of wands if i'm waiting for someone to say that that i'm right or they're wrong it's not going to happen it's not going to happen um it's just not going to happen right or if it or if you do get it it doesn't feel sincere so i just want you to know that Look at this. And then we have the Ace of Cups skin over on this side. You know, I feel like this Queen of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, no doubt. But she is coming over the card of Cancer. Um, so I feel like she's talking, it's talking about her energy. This is someone who's very intuitive. This is action-oriented. Um, she moves according to her desires and her passions. You may not have been that way. You may be turning into this Queen. This may be just who you're coming. Like, I've I've had enough of this, right? It's not changing. It's not going to change. That's just what I feel. It's not going to change. However, this Ace of Cups keeps showing up for you. And I feel like this Queen is going to accept it. The Lovers. Wow. Which is what we started with. Now coming right over the Ten of Cups. We have the Death card. Look where the Death card is lying. Right in the line of this untrustworthy energy. That's the closing of a door. It's a closing of a door so you can have a rebirth. I don't think you can have a rebirth with this person. But I don't think you're meant to. I think there's someone else. I love that the lovers came out again. Hello. Uh, two lovers now. Two Aces of Cups over the ten you know look at this ten of cups first of all it's got the ace of cups underneath it feeding that house it's got the ace of cups over it covering that house and then inside that house is the lovers and let me tell you something i love to see the lovers with the three of pentacles and the reason why is because i feel like this is someone appreciating you for who you are and they should. Death card. I'm putting it to a close. I'm shutting that door. And I'm going to allow a new door to open. Doesn't mean I have to move immediately into something. Maybe I need a little time out. Do whatever you need. Um, but when you know something's not serving you, there's only one way out. And that's your movement. Uh, is card of Scorpio, by the way, also. But it's also about rebirth, right? It's not a rebirth of this relationship. This person is just who they are. This is a rebirth within your life. Eight of Pentacles. 
and your business. You know, if if I'm focusing on what I lost, like you know, I'm sad, or what ha or what have you, um, I'm down. How can I snap out of that? I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is perfect for that because it talks about the refocus, refocusing your attention, take your attention off of what you have lost, and this is about the rebuilding, right? Starting at the get go, right? A new beginning, but. We already know that it can go to the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. We already know that. Okay, I don't know why I'm still taking, but I think I'm just going to take two more. Look at Page of Wands, but the Page of Wands is in the up right now. Look at that. And then the magician. Wow. The manifestation of these lovers. And the way they came together. You know, listen. This feels quite beautiful, I have to tell you. And this feels quite difficult. But it is like night and day. And that's life, right? The lows and the highs. We want to try to stay in the highs as long as we can. How can we do that? know our own energy trust our intuition if something or someone comes towards us and it doesn't feel right 99% of the chance it's not right right it's just not right if something comes and it feels great doesn't mean you can't take your time give yourself some time in it right enjoy enjoy the present moment of it I just feel like you have quite the lover coming into your life. Not just that, but I feel like I feel like for those who have been, um, first of all, in a horrible relationship, I feel like you have to find a way to let that go. Um, why? So that you can be open to all that wants to come in. I mean, we saw the lovers, what, three times, I think? At least twice. We have the magician underneath that, the manifester, the power. I don't think it's just you. I think it's two. One of my manifesting, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups. And then where does it bring us? To the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Night and day, Cancer. Night and day. What's not serving you? Try to close that door so that you can have that rebirth. You know, sometimes we think love is over and it has yet to begin. Like the love that you thought, like this is what I thought love was. Mm -mm, no, that's what they told you love was. Now, Maybe this is the opportunity to really feel it in its unconditional way. You know, I'm not going to fool anyone and say you go from the ace to the ten, even though it is showing that. Um, to me, that means there's a very special connection, like you feel it. Um, I do feel like, like love will, you know, it may not be instant, or it may be. Um... But there will be something. There's like, mm, like this. Mm. It pulls you to it, but not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I think you've dealt with the worst. And maybe you get an opportunity to deal with the best now. But listen, it's also about your energy. You have to be able to match that energy. It just means you want to be open to it. You've got to close this door to allow this door to open. There is no way around that. Because these two, it's like these two rooms do not go together. All right, let's read Mother Mary. I think it's about caring for yourself. Mother Mary sent you this card as a reminder that she cares deeply for you and your family. Although you may sometimes feel alone, you are definitely watched over and protected. When life is stressful, though, as it, as it has been lately for you, you may not feel the Blessed Mother's loving presence. 
So carry this card or message to help you know that divine love is here for you. This card also asks you to keep your heart open and continue caring for others, even though you may feel unappreciated or used. Remember that your spiritual path is to be loving and helpful, not to change others. However, you, you don't need to, nor should you, stay in any abusive or toxic situation or relationships. You can care for someone from afar. Most importantly, care for yourself, dear one. Take time for you and attend to things that are important for your health, your happiness, and your well-being. Amen. First thing I want to say is know that you have the right to have the best life that you can have. I feel like it's 50-50. Like we have half the power, divine has the other half. Half the power, I mean free will, right? Our free will. I don't know, guys. You know, quite hard, but then quite beautiful. So I think we're seeing both sides of the coin. I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Um, you know, I won't go through everything. I thank you for everything you do. Uh, for me, I have so much gratitude for each and every one of you. Um, and I love seeing you back at my table. You know, it just feels good. So I will see you um, again at our table next time. I love you. Bye-bye.